it's here, it's now, it's the Premier League final table. Twelve of the best started out, and now we're down to the final six. Only one will be crowned the Premier League champion. In order to gain the respect from everyone else, you have to definitely win the title. And I've just won the World Series of Poker main event, and I'm here to prove that I'm not a fluke by winning the Premier League. It's twelve of the greatest players in the planet, and if I could do it twice in three years, it would be huge for me. There hasn't been a game of no one hold him in a while where I didn't think I was the best player at the table. This would be huge, I and mean, this is a title I'm missing, and it's the title I won. I came so close last year, and, and uh, hopefully just to go one better would, would mean a lot. Well, we've reached our final table of six. Now, the players will be starting with staggered stacks. Every point they won in the league table will now convert to 10,000 in chips for the final. The stacks are going to look like this. J.C. Tran will be your chip leader with 450,000. Peter Eastgate with 390,000. Yuha Healthy on 340,000. And the shorter stacks, Tom Dwan on 260,000, along with Tony G. And Roland DeWolf, the current trailer, 230,000. It's like a dream. A dream final table six. Certainly are the best in the world. You'd give your left eye tooth for this lineup, and here it is. Joined by Phil Helmuth and Phil. I mean, going around this table, it's big, best, and better. Tom Dwan in the one seat. Here's a guy that played 50% of the pots, you know, uh, nicknamed Durr. He's become extraordinarily famous in the poker world because he's made millions of dollars online. I nicknamed him Duracell because he keeps raising and raising and raising. On his left, the Finn, Yuha Helpy, former champion. Yeah, and Yuha is not going to be afraid to re-raise Tom Dwan. Dirk can't have hand every time, therefore I re-raise. A guy who really wants this title is Tony G. Yeah, Tony G might want the title as much as anybody, and he had it in his grasp last year. On his left, seat number four, Roland DeWolf, who I think has been waiting to open up his game throughout this tournament. Everyone will be watching the chip leader, J.C. Tran, who has just oozed pure class throughout the tournament. He's a deep stack tournament player by trade, and uh, he's just the, uh, the big favorite. It is so hard to get money off this guy, but if there's one guy maybe who can do it, it's the world champion, Peter Eastgate. I don't know if he has the reading ability to win this, but one thing's for sure, he's gonna let the really aggressive players He's going to trap them. Let's look at the chips on the table. The yellow chips are worth 1,000, blues are two, reds 5,000, and there's green chips on the table. They're worth 10. There's nearly 2 million in play here, Phil. And away they go. Now, Phil, what are you going to have your eye on early uh, to give an indication of how things might go? Well, I mean, I don't think early is very important, actually. I think that, you know, you have to let some time pass before you start to overcommit yourself. Pass, pass. I'm surprised to see JC pass. come out on the first hand the with the king three suited because he has Durr who's liable to play with him. Would the other players have been expecting him to come pass. out of the box fast? No, I don't think so. So, I mean, in that pass. sense, it's a pretty good raise. As well. yeah. There's so much history uh, between these guys over the course of this tournament. Cool. See, now there's a hand where Yuha Helpy would have re-raised Tom Dwan instantly. He would have re-raised Eastgate, but against Tran, he could only call because he doesn't expect Tran to have the king three of clubs. And Phil, these stacks are not just deep, they're super deep. There's 24,000 in the pot. Both of them have just a lot back. And wow, look at this for a first flop. Helpy okay. has aces with the jack, and Tran has flopped the nut flush draw. He's been the kind of player, JC, we've seen him quite often like raise before the flop with an ace and then check the ace high flop. Yeah, yeah. He decided to bet out. The reason he bet out is, you know, number one, maybe king high is good, although I don't think he believes that. But he believes that if Helpy doesn't have an ace, if Helpy had a pocket pair, which was a likely holding, or king queen, or king jack, then he would fold his hand right now. That's why he bet. He's trying to make up his mind now. Do I check raise or do I just call? Call. First pot, and uh, the club would just be huge for Tran. Yep. Well, all right. There's a five. Okay. So help he checks. Let's see. Let's see how Tran's reading abilities are right now, because he should check here if he's reading Helpy well. 
He may be thinking, uh, I might take a little $40,000 bluff at this pot because I can make a mistake. But I hope what he's thinking is he's checking out Helpy. Check. That was a very good check on his part, so he's decided to give up and just hope for a club. What if the club comes? Ooh, it's close. Now, Helpy's in an interesting position here. He may decide to bet this, um, but, but it's been his past history to kind of check in these positions. And what is he hoping to get called by if he does better? I mean, he's really hoping to get called by ace-8, ace-9, two queens, two kings. 18,000. So he, he made a very small bet, and, uh, and I think Tran is going to just have to give it up. Pass. That's what he's done, and with that little pot there, not a huge pot, but it has uh, sent Helpy up the scale and closed the gap between himself and JC. Yuha's not really known for his bluffs, so, you know, it was hard to imagine that he had anything, oh, yeah. you know, you know, other than a nice. I mean, if there is one guy at this table who the players think are highly predictable, I you know, that, that could really yeah. switch up his game, who, who would it be? Cool. Tony G's been predictable, Roland's been predictable, Helpy's been predictable. Um, but, you know, being predictable is not a bad thing at all, really. Pass. I like this limp here by oh. Tranny, limp with two sevens. Yeah. And be thinking in, in his mind that, you know, I can only really win a big pot if I hit a seven. Yeah. Otherwise, I just pick up the annies. So he's trying to win a big pot early here. He's got the blinds in with him, plus... Now that's a really good flop for the sevens. He doesn't know that Tony G has an ace. Check. So. Ten thousand. <coughs> Wouldn't be surprised if Tran called ten thousand here. The fold would be a really good laydown. Tony G has been. He's been a little bit. Um, cool. Sort of of the mode. It seems like during yeah. the, the heat stages of just check calling these type of hands. He's. Yeah, and but. But but uh, but Tranda has no idea that right. he's looking at an ace. So I mean, he had to call. It, it most likely, it seems that Check. it seems like Tony G has a six or a four. Now, let's see if Tran can check this back somehow. The eight was a, a little bit of a dangerous card. It's giving him a nice Check. draw for the straight fives or sevens now. And he's checked it. I mean, he's like, all right. Wow. And he hit the runner runner straight. Hey, and then Tran's. Played this hand just, you know, really well, actually. <laughs> He's gotten really lucky. He has, and uh, what sort of value bet is it? I, I, it feels like he must, he's going to be getting called, Tony, yeah, it? Tony's calling no matter what. I mean, he could actually bet 30000 I think Tran will bet more like a 15000 20000 Looks like 24. Good bet. I think 20, Tony would have snap called 24. I think he still <coughs> is going to call it. I mean, call. yeah, he has called. And it really, yeah. he could only beat a bluff here, really, right? No, I mean, I mean, you know, Tony pretty much is one of those hands where, for Tony, it's like, well, I think I'm beat, but I have an ace. Yeah. So, in his mind, he just has to call it. That's a, a sophisticated lay down there that's just uh, really tough to do, I think. Early trouble for Tony G and for J.C. Tran. He doesn't need chips, but he's got them. Well, he tried to win a big pot with sevens, and he did win a big pot with sevens. It just turned out that, you know, he put 10,000 with the worst hand, but the other 24 with the nuts, the best hand. Tony G's it's always seemed like the kind of guy during this tournament, Phil, where confidence is and momentum is such a big part of his game. I mean, he has to be careful not, not to get down on himself, doesn't he? Well, he's thinking in his mind that he was pretty unlucky that hand, and he's running the scenarios, and if he would have bet on 4th Street, I think that he gets called. So, um... And the bookmakers now pay out, as Yuha was saying. Tom Dwan has folded the first three hands of this final table. Is he capable of, of a tight gear here, Phil, if it's smart? For a little while. I think he is, and I mean... It's people okay. change, things change, dynamics change. Like, I think that he listened to my opening interview where I told him that, I didn't really tell him, where I said that expect Helpy and Tony G to come over the top of him. And so he's like, well, 
you know, he, it, that might not affect him where he might just still be able to raise every hand and he doesn't mind them coming over the top or he might just say, let me come out and surprise them all. They expect me to play fast. Instead, I'll play tight and it'll be harder for them to re-raise me. And, you know, he takes the air of a very cool kid that doesn't care that this isn't huge money, but I don't buy it, Phil. I think Tom Dwan wants to win bad. It's, you know, I mean, look, he's, uh, you know, he's he's won a lot of money playing poker online. And so what he doesn't have is, you know, titles. So he, but he's still become pretty famous uh, because he's played in a lot of different, you know, ca televised cash games, televised tournaments. And, uh, wow, he just called with ace eight of spades. So he's coming out playing a completely different game than we're used to seeing him play. Now, what is up with that? Is it because, say, JC's in the big blind and the stacks are so deep? I mean, is, is a call the same thing as a little raise? Or Turns out he has JC just dominated. Yeah. I mean, an ace is really bad for JC, although the pot might not be that big. Nothing for no one. Check. Is this a good spot for Dirt of Fire here? Or yeah, I mean, Ace, I look, he's a mathematical guy. He knows that Ace-8 is most likely the best hand here, so. 11,000. That looks to take the mustard. Now, Tran has to make a decision here. I mean, he has to decide, all right, Dirt folded three in a row. Yeah. Just best to just get out of his way. He would have made some spectacular check raise. It's too early for that. All right. One hand played, one hand won for Duan. <laughs> he does care. I mean, you can't help but get caught up in the week and the and you watch. You know, although he hasn't watched as much of the play, he's watched the least amount of play of anybody in the tournament. But you have to care. I mean, you just you just can't help but hang out with great players. You're playing poker every day with them. You're discussing all these strategies, and you know, and you're watching other people do different things. And you know, you know, this is going out to 80 different countries or whatever it is at the Premier League. It's a, you know, tens of millions of people will watch the show. And this is the first hand of note Roland the Wolf has picked up at the final table. Now, will these players on his left, raise the big 12, stacks, be expecting him to raise uh, light from the button here? Uh, apparently not. Good raid, a good read there from Eastgate. He's showing me some early form by just mucking the ace deuce instantly. Everybody knows how tight Roland's played and that's going to work against him when he picks up some hands. I mean, I know Roland thought about just limping there and um, if he had a limp in him, it might have been a good time for that. He's been a guy who has been a couple times this week. Things have gone against him, and I, I, he's looked like he's been a bit under, sometimes under the strain. But now, here at the final table, after getting through that heads up with the net, Roland the Wolf has really started to look like a guy who fancies himself with that trophy. You were really impressed last year, I remember, Phil, by his play at the final table role, but it was a much different lineup. Yeah, uh, you know, the league is stronger this year, actually. Um, a lot stronger, so. Tony G has raised this uh, from just a completely random position with a random hand. He has nothing, and look, Durst latched onto something. He's like, what's going on here? It doesn't seem like Tony has much. So it's interesting that, that, that Durst spotted something already. Let's see if he can take advantage of it and re-raise. He, I mean, uh, what, what did he spot? I mean, tell, tell me, Phil. Hey I mean, that's this just is weird. Well, I mean, you, this is this is one thing I've learned about Dur as he reads people well. Now, if Tony G, Tony G, if wow, cool. that's pretty sick. <laughs> it's pretty sick. What's going on here? Well, I think Tony G got run over by Durr, and he said, you're not running me over anymore. That's all there is to it. And at this you stage know? now, Tony G is just trying to get lucky and hit a flop, right? Yeah, well, or take it away, or just he's, he, may, he might just bet. I mean, oh, wow. wow. That is, that what? is wowie. How big could this pot get? This pot could potentially be an all-in. I mean, you know, I mean, I really didn't think there'd be an all, any all-ins for the first hour of real play here. 
and just those percentages showing that Dwan is, is, is a little bit ahead here, but he's got the kind of hand where there's really nothing that he's behind, if you know what I mean. Yeah, right? unless Tony G has a set, yeah. you know, and it's unlikely he called the race with 10 jack. So, I mean, Durish is in, in good shape against any hand. I mean, if Tony G has kings, Durish is not in that bad of shape. 43,000. That's oh what I thought. Oh, my! And can can Durr fold here? And an insta call and wow! <laughs> and insta this is, call. And they're gonna be shocked when they see this. <coughs> now this is amazing. I mean, <laughs> here are two guys reading each other and just going with it. It's actually kind of beautiful <laughs> poker when you see something like this come down. But there it is. It's a coin flip for four hundred and thirty thousand dollars, and someone's gonna have a dominating chip lead here. Like to see you well, I shouldn't say dominating, but someone's just going to be in great shape. Dern needs a four, a queen, or a club, and Tony's gotten up. It's Tony G all in. Dwan will be down to like 50,000. He's got a hit here, Phil. Yeah, he really does. Tony couldn't believe the spot he was in when you insta called. Yeah, that's right. When Tony G moved all in and Dern insta called it, Tony G thought he was drawing dead, but in fact, he actually, you know, was about even money. I still like it. Got a lot of good rivers. That's not, not one of them. I don't like it not anymore. anymore. Like now anymore. there's a bit of a. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were gonna start playing some poker. Tony G, <laughs> came yeah, out of nowhere, Phil. <laughs> Tony G is just did not gonna say, get run over by Durr, and, and uh, yeah. I didn't <laughs> think that, that he would make a stand right this there. early, <laughs> but he did. <laughs> I, know, was... I thought I thought you were already playing poker when you did that. <laughs> Took a lot of hard commitment to think that's the best hand, you know. Yeah. Durr made a great re-raise knowing that Tony was weak, and Tony G said, I don't care if you made a great raid. You're weak too, I call. I'm not backing down. But G said, this is a final table. I got nothing to lose. I'm Tony G. That is just absolutely crazy. Tony G moved in with second pair, got insta-called, and was even money. Usually you're crushed when you get insta-called that spot. Insta-call, and you see No, but it's early on. We want to try to get some of them. Whoever has some chips has a better edge. Welcome back to the final table of Party Poker Premier League Poker 3. $300,000 for first place plus the trophy at stake. I think everybody in the green room is a little bit shocked at what's happened here. You know, I mean, wow. <laughs> They're treating money like matchsticks, Phil. <laughs> and I won't be surprised to see Yuha raise it with any hand here. Now he decided to take a flop. It, it it goes to show you how what a premium these guys put on the title, doesn't it? Yeah, I might have Ray Ray. I might have just made a big move there if I had helped you, Santa. Say, you know what? You've been messing with me all week. I'm all in. You know, see yeah. if Dirk can make the call. You know. Yeah. I'm mean, before the flop. Check. Check. Jeez, we had we had a you know one round of tight play and then ba boom. Even before the flop. And that 8,000, you know, Dwan down to 50, I mean, he kind of needs this money. 6,000. Have to play. Sure. That's <laughs> <six bucks. laughs> <laughs> 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 down a pair? He qualified. He qualified. He down a pair, and he's just proud of it. I can't believe it. I don't like the way Helpy played this hand here with the deuce. Yeah, two. I had a hand here with the deuce. Wow. Is this Holden or Omar? No, Omar. You know, Phil, Tony kind of likes to like to say he's the only amateur at the table. Kind of says he's not a poker player, he's a businessman. But what is what are the other players at the table make of Tony G right now? You know, Tran and Eastgate. You got to bring enough bullets, though. Yeah. Well, that was an eye-opening pot, you know, and it showed that they're not going to run over Tony G today. I mean, he called the re-race with 9-10. They know that, and he shipped it with second pair. So they're all thinking, okay, I'm not re-raising Tony G week, you know, and I'm probably probably shouldn't be raising his blind too much because this guy's in a playing mode and they haven't seen that all week but I, I knew it was coming actually because you know I mean he's no longer after points right and then they said it goes up to 5,000 10,000 yeah but I mean
Is this a, is this a, is this a, a am I? He said, he said, he said they do it. These guys Dude, are like, Phil, you have reached for his stack there, well, kind of saying, they, I know I'm good here, but I'm scared that if I raise you, you might just ship it all in and I'll be out of position. I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, but I don't blame you, Huff. I mean, he limped in with ace queen and look, there's a reward for him. Yeah. He actually hit an ace and now he gets to the benefit of picking off a Tony G bluff. That's friendly. He's playing this ace queen like Phil Helmuth right now. You yeah, I, I like it. I like it because, you know, right now Tony's just gotten away with. Race. Oh, no, Yuha. What did you do that for? You opened yourself up for a re raise, number one. But number two, why not just call? I mean, because if Tony has a has ace king, you're going to lose a lot of chips. If he has ace four, ace three, you're going to lose a lot of chips. But a lot of times he has absolutely nothing there. And the ace is so strong, you really just want to let him hang himself yeah, a little yeah. bit, Yeah, right? yeah, give, give him a little rope. But Yuha was thinking there's two spades and there's a three, four, and maybe he has a deuce or five in his hand, and maybe he makes a straight, well, and maybe I'm this and maybe that. But, you know, sometimes you just have to take a chance, you know. His best hope was to try to pick up a $20,000 bluff on the river. On the other hand, if Yuha thinks Tony G's not going to bluff anymore, then the race was good. It's not so good when it's very high stakes before the it's I mean, it's already looking like uh, Kelpy, Eastgate, Tran are guys that aren't going to let Tony bust them out. Um, however, that puts them at a little bit of a disadvantage, doesn't it? No, I mean, you know, they're just waiting to show him a big hand. They've got plenty of time. Blinds are so low, right? Yeah. Dur, hey, there you go. Help you with five, six offsuit on the button. Yeah, you to see a it's nearly a family pie. <laughs> Look at this. Help out a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Some people do. Yeah. Just to get Everybody but Eastgate. Let the big guns battle it out. Gotcha. <laughs> get out of the way. I tried to get out of the way. There's a lot of flops where everybody Let can have something. Go at it. Feels like one. Roland, he flopped. Wow, look at this. And Tom Dwan's got the nuts. Tony G fired out with nines with a queen. Raised to 30,000. Now look at this, and Roland has jacks of nines. He raised. Can't get away from it. Right, he can't because Duan only has 50,000. But there's Duan. He flopped the nuts straight. And how sick right now? I mean, I, this is. Tom's going to get back in it, but. Phil, how sick is Tom Duan right now that he doesn't have 400,000, 200,000 back, right? Yeah. King Queen of Clubs or just King Queen? Just King Queen. That's why I don't want to see flop. <laughs> That's how you get into trouble. <laughs> Had to happen. It is Dwan all Doesn't in and uh, a, a full house for Roland, That's Jack or nine. Yeah, Roland needs a Jack or nine to that take Durr out. Yeah, Otherwise, Durr's back nine. in the ball game with a, at least 125. What? How much? 136,000. He's right back in it. At least four outs. He's got four outs. Wow. No, I haven't won enough times. Flush. That's it was close. That's when you wanted the jack of clubs. 52. <laughs> he looks the same. He's looked the whole time. He's already been up, down, and all around. And this is actually probably a bit uh, of, of a shot for uh, Roland, isn't it? It's really it's hurt him a little bit. A little unlucky for Roland. He's just been folding and folding and folding. And, uh, you know, <laughs> he's in the big blind with Jack. Now he flops Jacks and nines against the short stack, and he has to give him... You know, 56,000 or whatever it was. And especially because Tony led into that. There was just there was just no way out. But even if Tony didn't lead, uh, Roland's going to lead and Durr's going to raise and it's going to be an easy re-raise there. So, I mean, there's just kind of no way out for Roland that hand given the chip stacks. <laughs> Obviously, Phil, you know, there is a difference. I mean, the payout structure, there's big money all the way up the ladder between 6th, 5th, and 4th. But... I just get the feeling that none of these guys, they don't even know, they're not interested. They want the title. They all want the title. There's just no doubt about it. I mean, I, mean, I, I do believe that Durr might not be excited about winning 300000 because he probably won or lost a million dollar swing online today already. I mean, I happen to know he's probably had a million dollar swing online or close to it. So, But come on, this, is, this isn't about money. This is about, you know... Why do you do that? Oh. You just you only make a certain number of final tables in a poker career. Well, even if Tony had called, it was still a good chance rolling right of the No, I mentioned the dinner break. You see? You see what happened? Here we go, Tony G. I fell in love with my hand. 
So Helpy has Helpy has limped here, and Tony's made it 20. And what's the wolf thinking about? Is he considering a push here? He's thinking about pushing. He's trying. He's trying to make a read, and uh, <laughs> and he decided to bail. That's a bit. Take it. Right. Punish. 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 He is re he is opened up. It was a setback. I had a setback. A partial. You had a. You had a move. I could have been out of it before the flop. They gave me the tip. Yeah. But you yeah. want to know something? I, I think if, if if one of us did raise, it would be a pretty small raise, and you probably might see a problem with the hand anyways. Cost you more. If I play the hand, you get your bust. So is is that sort if of a, a subtle with prediction with here, bust. Phil? That that uh, some these guys are gonna catch Tony. They are gonna lie in wait for him and, and right, really catch, catch him at some point. Um, yeah, of course they're gonna try to lie in wait. Now they know he's dangerous, and I wouldn't be surprised if with that ace nine, he just. Uh, Call. He would have called the re-raise from Rowan with Queen Eight. <laughs> so right. I mean, yeah, yeah. I call Tony and just insta called 170,000 <laughs> with Ace Nine offsuit. I mean, here he's battling against Duan again. He has the best hand again. Not anymore. Let's see if Dirk can check this. But even if he bets 10,000, Tony might call with an Ace. Try, boy. We start to remember now that, I mean, at, at Premier League Two final table, Tony, he was like a, he was like a shell. He was like a weak, you know. He just sat there with his head in his hands, and you know, I commentated that, and Tony watched the tape, and we said, "Wow, I can't believe how passive he's playing. He has no chance to win," and uh, you know, and now he's come out and he's playing the game. <laughs> There's a big difference. So I mean, you try to learn from your mistakes, right? Yeah. <coughs> I, I don't like Dirk. It was, it's not Dirk's style to come out firing 18,000 with top pair either. I mean, he's a lot of times he just checks it when he hits top pair. He makes a Still little play. bet, and he would have gotten called if he would have bet 10,000. And if he checked it, maybe Tony would have made a bluff. But it is that thing about. Uh, so I think someone was saying title, earlier. It's about Tony likes to dictate terms, and he was kind of saying. He doesn't want to even be on this oh. table if he's going to let Tom Dwan re-raise his blind. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you look, you know, yeah. look, even even if even if Dwan had aces there, I, yeah. I think I would have said, look, it's it's nice to see him get a little aggressive, uh, you know, and although he would have been busted. Now, how about this? This is the first time Peter Eastgate has moved chips tonight, Phil. He's done it with a squeeze. He's right. I mean, he, he didn't really have to worry about reading J.C. Tran. He had to worry about reading, and JC didn't even bother trying to read him because it's just a too too dangerous a spot for him. But Eastgate just had to read Tony; didn't have to read JC. He read Tony as being weak, and he made the re-raise and and got all of his chips back that he's been anteing off in one fell swoop. And that's a, that's a good safe play there. Textbook like the way he executed it was yeah, it? just a nice textbook play there. And just get the feeling, you said Peter's going to be dangerous. I mean, you just get the feeling this is how he means to win chips. He's going to sit there, develop a tight image, and, and just make the smart plays. I mean, you know, if you want to be a poker okay. champion, you have to manufacture pots, manufacture Ready chips, find a way to win pass. some pots when you have the worst hand. Pass. Second. Pot in the row for Eastgate being on oh. the aggro. And I just love final tables, Phil, that are deep stacked because a lot just, of time. Guys get to they get to <laughs> unleash their games, don't they? Yep, and here's a bad situation for Helpy. He needs to avoid an eight, but a, the situation just got worse for Helpy. But Helpy, I think, has been reading Eastgate well. Check. Check. And there goes Eastgate back to the trap play. See if Helpy falls into the trap. Yeah, this has been this has been something that's been happening more 
often in the Premier League than not. Um, I mean, if you watch the final table from the World Series of Poker, Eastgate trapped almost a, a ton of pots. And 14,000. And I'm always trapping people, too. I, I, I like that play because so often they're actually drawing dead. Why not give them a free card? Pass. Especially with the ace rag. I saw, you know, some interviews with JC. I said this a couple times, but he kind of has this mantra that he always uses, which is that, you know, he says he when he was younger, he used to push things, and now he lets the game come to him. And I just think he's he's done that this entire tournament. You know, he's never looked like a hair out of place, Phil. Everything it just it'll come to him sooner or later. Yeah, he's put, yeah. But what happens when it doesn't come to you after 70 or 80 hands? You know, can you continue to to, to wait it out because he has enough chips Pass. to wait right. 150 hands, right. kind of, and just Pass. tread water. And Pass. even Pass. if he loses chips, Pass. it's okay. Dwan back on the horse. There he is, the five deuce qualifies. <laughs> He's actually, I've heard more more new terminology from Tom Dwan during this tournament than uh, I, I think in three years of poker. He, he's really got a lot of sort of different phrases. Oh, I love it. I mean, he, you know, he's 22 years old. He represents a whole breed of poker players. Boy, I'm hesitating to, to say that because he's so young. I want to say somebody who's 25 or 26 represents that <laughs> genre, Jesse. It's hard to say someone 22 represents a whole genre, <laughs> but. Total. Raise from the button for J.C. Tran and Dwan in the big blind. You look at Dwan, you look at his cards, you still never have any idea what he's about call. to do. But he decided to call and peel off the flop. <coughs> oh, what wow, a what a flop. flop. Well, here we go. I mean, because Duan doesn't have that many chips, uh, he may get the a huge play here from JC because JC is, you know, he knows he only has, what, 150,000 chips left, and he may decide to make a raise, and Duan goes all in, and JC finds himself calling. And this is a play very similar to one in net made earlier. The, it, you know, the leading out, and it looks so weak, oh. doesn't it? Wow, that was really nice play on Tran's part to not raise. He just there. didn't fall for it. No, he just didn't fall for it. He's like, okay, I'll call. I'll take a card off. And who else? Who? Everybody would fall for that one. Not everybody. I mean, you know. Does JC think it's possible Dwan has a big hand, or it's likely? Well, I like the fact that he just called. I mean, it was a, it was a really good just call because a, a lot of people would have just moved in there and said, all right. And when, and, you know, just trying to win the pot. There's a check. Let's see if Tran can check behind him. I don't think that's going to happen, now. He's going to get check raised all in, isn't he? Yep. And, and he's going to have to fold, too. Dwan has about... I really like the way Dwan played this hand. He fired on the flop, and he checked on the turn, and I believe he's going to move all in. He's going to study to look weak, but... When he moves all in, Tran has no option but to fold. Come on. There it is. In? Same way every time. He grabs the 30, throws it, and says, I'm all in. <laughs> it's a very stylistic way to go all in. Now, Tran wants to count, but he's going to figure out that he can't call. It's 100,000 more. And to be honest, Phil, I mean, I haven't seen JC Tran in this position the entire Premier League where he's kind of bet himself out of a pot. His post-flop okay. decisions have been so good. Well, I, mean, I tell you, I tell you, that's the one concern that I have is he's a little bit tired. Yes. And, you know, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of grueling here at the Premier League. Duan just with an excellent play. He played that hand just absolutely perfectly. First level in the books, mostly the story of Tom Duan. He's won a third of the hands played but lost that big one to Tony G nearly knocked him out. G making a nice move up into fourth, and the Wolves playing like ice cream on a hot summer day, just melting, and then so. Lines up. You are helping to actually been... Like, as far 
I've seen the most flops on this table so far. So bet it now. Find out. Maybe he's had the most playable hands. Not much in it, really. One sec, sorry. I have no clue how much I have. Two hundred. Cool. Durr folding the queen five of diamonds, and you know, look, that's a hand he would not have folded um, probably Great. earlier in this heat even. But I think when you get down to 50,000 in chips, you realize, you know what, I, I really would like to win this. Yeah. It's kind of a wake-up call, and now he's back, to, now he has new life. He's back up to 216,000, and, uh, and I think he's, I mean, you can't help but look around and question your tactics and wonder if, you know, maybe I better slow down a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, they're letting Helpy get away with raising, so there was another raise Marty. with five, seven United of spades or whatever he had. The Arsenal score is, please. <coughs> One nil, two. Full time. If you would have, if you would have told me that Helpy had played the most hands, <laughs> I would have said no. <laughs> yeah, you know, Yuha is the guy you're talking about, Tom Dwan, not having watched yeah. most of the games. Yuha has seen every hand played in this Premier League, and the ones he hasn't watched, he's gone online, he's looked at the blogs. I mean, this guy has, this is like a, a university yeah, course for him, Phil. He does all his homework. Yep. There's Tony G. And it, it's the kind of thing, isn't it? I mean, where, where Tony G showed that if you re-raise him and he's in position, the only thing you're doing is making the pot bigger. Check. Check. 30,000. And a lot. He has an absolute air ball. Right. And this is where I'd like to see Tran looking at Tony G, not at the bet. The 30 is a pretty sizable bet right now. Um. Oh, he made the right right call there. It, and Eastgate yeah. just decided to give it up. He needed a 6 or a 10 for a straight. A 10 would be disaster. Right now, a 10 is just going to bust Tony G. See you later. He really yeah. does not want a 10, or his Premier League is over. I mean, yeah. where is what range is he putting J.C. Tran on? Is is it time to, to shut the shop if you're Tony G.? Well, as you know, so often you can just fire your way through these pots, but it takes a lot of guts. As Tony G would say, it takes a lot of guts and heart and commitment. <coughs> and he's right now he's trying to figure out, does J.C. Tran have a straight draw like a King-10, okay. or does he have a pair, and is he trapping me? And he's decided to just give him a free card. Because so often J.C. could have something here, like a like a Ace-Jack or a King-Jack, right? I mean... Okay. Now what, Tony? Jack. King high. Now Tony G feels sick. He's sick to his stomach because he almost, he nearly bet on four straight <laughs> there. And if he would have bet, he'd feel really great. Instead, he checked it. <laughs> and he, now, he's, now he's a little confused. He's like, oh, man, I knew I should have bet. I didn't do it. What a dummy I am. And, and look at that. Trans back up to 450. Don't bluff me, and you know I can read you dry. Exactly, and, and Tony fell, fell into all of that, and, and, and I think later Tony G now feels like he's going to pull the trigger next time that comes up. Nice. But then maybe Tran will oh, have a beat next time. I was just thinking. <laughs> just thinking. Cool. Now, remember, nobody saw his queen six, so... <laughs> right. If they would have seen that, <laughs> it would have changed his reputation quite a bit. <laughs> It was actually, I mean, you, you did kind of expect Roland or somebody to sort of stick a little needle in, you know? <laughs> and there's Durr with two tens. Wow. Wow, this could be a dangerous for Tony G. I don't think it will be, but it could be. And, I mean, Durr has to raise here for the big blind, right? Because they just never believe him, Phil. Well, the last time, yeah, and Tony just got away this time. The last time he raised, he got called by 10-9. <laughs> he would love to get called this time. By 10 9. He's made a pretty big raise. This got about 200 in the beginning hand? Yeah, th yeah, this raise looks really big. I mean, what is. He raised it like 
more than the size of the pot, I think, Phil. He's raised it 27,000 more. The pot was only 24. This is not the time for trying to be yeah, making any play at all. Is it just because it looks so weak? Does it look weak to overbet the pot? Well, I mean, he, Tr Tran, is, Tran is wondering if I move. Yeah, he's just going to have to lay it down. He, he's Hi. trying to decide, should I raise it? Hi. Should I re-raise it? And it just wasn't the time, and he made the lay down. Pretty unlucky there for Dwan, actually. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> if Tony G would have raised with Ace-5 and Dwan would have re-raised him again. Bam. Bam, yeah. Snap. <laughs> Might have been see you later Tony G time. This is a final table where the biggest pots are often going to be the quickest pots, right? Raise, re-raise, all in, snap, call, queen, four, nine, ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now Tony's throwing away an ace under the guns. Oh. I like that. Yeah? I like the fact he just called. Yes, I do. Because he hasn't played a hand, it's going to be tough for someone to raise, raise and yet... 20,000 total. And yet Tran went right ahead and raised it, but Roland is playing so patiently that I'm surprised that Tran raised it. And yeah. I like Roland's limp there because he's trying to flop trips is what he really wanted to do. He wanted he did the same thing Tran did with sevens earlier. He limped in trying to win a big pot. And he's not losing patience. He's not gonna try he's trying not to go broke in one hand. Yeah. And that's just a horrible flop for the wolf actually. Jeez, Roland could sit there and say to himself, you know, JC had an ace, he might be more likely not to bet it. And well, let's see how Roland's reading ability is. I mean, even if he does read Tran, I mean, right. Tran actually has something. He yeah. has a flush draw. Oh, yeah. Would have been interesting to see what would have happened if it would have come, you know, some other cards. Because I'm not sure that Tran would have been able to take that pot away. He so has, he's dominated. He has destroyed this Premier League as far as the league tables go. But he's come over here with a purpose, a posse and a purpose to win. And uh, you just know that that's the only thing that's going to be good enough for JC. Roland really didn't want, like, the deuce three nine flop there <laughs> with his eights, you no. know. He didn't want a nine or a ten high flop. I know that. Raised to 15,000 total. Pass. There's East Cape. Pass. Look at this, Tony G. Wow, pocket queens. Hello. Cool. Smooth called it. Pass. He has, and uh, you like this? I don't mind the smooth call here. I mean, it, as it turns out, <laughs> this is probably one of the hands he doesn't want to have East Cape to have. Oh, wow. Wow. That is a great flop for Tony G. 19,000 raised to 50,000. And it's a quick raise from Tony, but not a big raise. Is Eastgate capable of getting himself in trouble? This is very interesting. I mean, this is where this is where Eastgate's reading abilities, if he has great reading abilities, he should be able to get away from this hand. I don't even mind if he calls 31,000, but if he has great reading abilities, he certainly doesn't want to be re-raising. And there's the call. Now, a little heart, and Tony G's in a lot of trouble. Okay, let's oh, see if Tony has the heart and the commitment to check it. He did check it. And it's a, it looks like a card where if he had an ace, he would be checking anyway, doesn't it? I mean... Yeah, it does. And Eastgate does not want a heart here. Oh, it was red. Tony G made a beautiful check there. I got yes. it. Oh, cool. <laughs> I got it. And uh, it was a it was a great check on the river, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It was really good. Board. Yeah, East. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I mean, I like the way Tony played the hand, and I and I yeah, like the way that that Peter played the hand, and so they both played that hand well to me. Sometimes it's hard to leave all that money out there and not take a flyer at it, but Eastgate did, and Tony. Wow, the G-Man. He really had a trap up his sleeve. Should have bet. Should have bet it one more time. Big mouth and a big game when it comes to the big stage.
Tony G's poker keys are heart and commitment, and he's had plenty of results. He's the Bad Boys champion, Asian Poker Tour champion, and third in this tournament last year. I was more of a street kid early on in life, and growing up in the Soviet Union. So yeah, it was very rough times and a lot of experience, and I went to Australia, and I guess I learned. I, I'm a, I was an addicted compulsive gambler as a kid. I like to knock people down, because I think I'm, a, I'm more of a battler, more of, of a player with not that, that much ability. Anyone at home could play as good as me, I really believe that. The, the key is you have to be prepared to die if you want to win. You can never save yourself because you're too good to be all in. That's, that's not true. You can be very conservative early on, but ultimately once your stack gets to that level that you can get enough leverage to pick up some chips, you have to push it. And that's what I do, I'm fearless. Successfully blinding out. Can you leave him alone? He was on tilt for a bit. What was that? The score, he had some money on the game. What was, what was that? He was down, he was on tilt. Now, now the tie is... fucking massive. Now it's over, guys. Should we just hand him the trophy now? I fold. Pass. That could be the one. That could be the turning point. Pass. Raised to 12,000 paper. Oh, well. Well, that makes it easy. Well, let's just pick up the jacks, actually. It would be nice if we could just smooth call somehow, but... Yeah, he's making a big re-raise. I mean, just... Re-raise to 35. I was, just, I was just saying that... And, I mean, if I was saying it, then certainly... Tony must be thinking it that maybe Roland is going to re-raise him weak here because he needs chips. I mean, is that what? Ro wow! Didn't fall for it. No. I got more money than Only stupid people like me would fall for that one. <laughs> well, I mean, you have to. You have to when some guy's only played three hands in thirty, and he's re-raising. You have six, eight. What are you going to do? Throw it away. Let's go to the next hand. Tran on top. You wouldn't know how much action there's been. Because um, the, the chip counts aren't that much different from where we started, but there has been a lot of up and down. Obviously, the, the guy who's made the most forward motion is G. And um, I guess Roland's lost uh, about 80,000. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really up here. You want a nice pot. Can't yeah. fold the river. There's a big pot anyway. <laughs> what do you think about this dynamic blind on blind between Eastgate and Dwan? The young 22 year olds? Yeah. I mean, I would have preferred to see Eastgate limp because Dwan's the aggressive one. and. Just try to beat him for thirty or forty thousand, you know. I'm done if Don, if look, if, if Durr's gonna play his game of raising and re-raising, then then that's fine with me. I just give me two tens and I'll let him control the action. That's all right with me. There's a good chance he has two undercards in the blind, you know. Arsenal. Arsenal. You shouldn't screw with him like that. That's the fucking guy. Arsenal. Really? Make a hundred thousand. Well done. Might clear some lines. You got the outsider up. Is it a really big game today? Uh, it's like Premier League, normal game, but like two big teams. So lots of betting. Tony has limped here, I believe, Bill, which has brought everybody in. It's a calling festival here. Yeah. Tanglewood. That's pretty sick. Cool. Two one is pretty sick. I get the yeah, feeling that Tom two really two likes that hand. Yeah, well, I mean, he might not. Obviously, he raised under the gun with five deuce of spades yeah. earlier, by the way. And somebody's got a couple pair. Let's see. No, I think what you have is a couple of people with a pair and a straight draw. So right now, Tran is just dominating this pot. He really only has to avoid a nine jack or five here. Queen would provide the most entertainment value. And that was just a, a bad card for check, check, Tran. Check, check. He may choose to bet 10,000 or something. Oh. Check. 
Who's gonna win the pot unless it comes to king, jack, or nine? Queen! I mean, nine, jack, or, mm. yeah. Check, check. 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 10,000. Is that a, is that yes. a value bet? Yeah, sure it is. Oh, he has a nine. He's thinking about calling. Tony G might call it. But you hate to, you hate to call these. Wow. <laughs> I mean, in order for Tran, it's all down to Roland now, or Tony still got his cards? Still got his cards. No. What can Roland be thinking about here? He took you out of it. He did. Well done. Uh, straight. Straight. Safe from the house. That's the good news. Uh, straight. Sorry. <laughs> It's a bad kicker. It actually is still a, a good kicker mm. compared. I'm perfectly capable of doing something stupid on my own. <laughs> <laughs> now look at that. Trans up to like 500,000 and really. Uh... Nice. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how did he get his chips back, and I realized it was that pot against Tony G that he won with King High Phil. I mean. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Painful, he he won that on yeah. reputation. Very painful. I can see the pain in your eyes. Basically, won that Sorry. with. Nice. With his driver's license, and that was all. Cool. Let's take odds and see Roland. Oh, I was going to say. Cool. And, you fold uh, no I, I and the limp here by Tony G. It was. Looks like a pretty good spot for him, but. Uh, yeah, anybody he only has to avoid a nine here. Yeah. Yeah, but Tony G could limp with 10 jacks, so there's a lot of hands he could limp with, so. Check. Look at that. Two guys have flopped a straight draw. Check. Check. Yeah, but. I mean, no, excuse me. No, no. Well, the wolf I was just six. thinking how good the 10 jack suited must look <laughs> right now. Check. Check. 10,000. Nice. What is JC thinking? Plus. thinking. I'll pretend that I'm actually thinking about calling. I don't want him to know that I know exactly what he has. <laughs> He promised that he did that he had more than one Yankee cap with him, and it turns out he did. This is his final table Yankee cap, the blue cap. He's been wearing the black one all week. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know what he knows with the Yankees. He's from Sacramento. For God <laughs> that's what I was. That's what I said to him. Has he even been to New York? <laughs> yeah. I think it turns out he was saying he, he went to high school with a guy who, who was drafted by the Yankees and. Uh, it's Pass. become his thing. That Pass. kid in the Yankee cap. <laughs> when was the first time you heard about J.C. Tran? Was it a couple of years ago or longer? Long time? I think a couple of years ago. He started winning everything in sight. Check, check. He started winning a few things here and there, yeah. Usually most of the people that I hear about do it at the World Series. Right. right. Check, check. And I think, Phil, that these two, Tran and Eastgate, have played more hands together than any duo at this final table. They were in five out of six of the heats. Um, they reached a heads up twice. Um, together. I mean, they have the logged have some quick, hands. On the next level? On the next level. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was talking to Peter Eastgate after the other night, and I said, man, that J.C. Tran is uh, hard to get chips from, isn't he? And Peter just looked at me and rolled his eyes. <laughs> it was like, I, you know, I, it was like, I mean, he's just, I don't think he's figured it out yet. You know, I mean, he, I mean, obviously he's not shying away from it, but he just has not figured J.C. out. And who right. has? I mean, you know. Pass. Pass. Should learn from this, Rowan. <laughs> uh, oh, it was a limp in from Helpy under the gun, Phil, with the ace ten suited. 
Wow. <clears throat> and, uh... I don't know. I just feel like you have trouble putting J Helpy on those cards. But he's, he's only got a, he's got a flush draw now, which is... That'd be wouldn't bet it if he could see Durasand. He's got him drawn to what? Two cards? Yeah, two black kings. He's not qualified. It's <laughs> qualified. Yeah. He did nothing wrong. Two says. <laughs> Oh, whatever one page is saying, At yeah, some point, I wonder if stamina is going to become an issue in this final <laughs> table, being that, um, forget about the long time, you, you know, the, these guys are all here, they're all at the hotel, but just <laughs> this amount of hours in front of the camera for them, you know, yeah. this, this, this could be a 200 <coughs> plus hand final table, and uh, oh. Eastgate smooth calling oh, with the Kings, with JC the Tran King. Rays. It's great. Yeah. It's why why does he smooth call here? I mean, what are the well, arguments for it? Well, one good argument is that Durr can always come over the top with queen four, right? And yep. If Durr just paid attention to Tran, he might read some weakness and actually make that move. The other argument is, uh, let's just gamble with him. Let's, uh, I'm a huge favorite, probably. And you were saying this is something, that the scouting report that you got on East Gate that you saw at the World Series, that he does slow play big hands, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, he slow plays a lot of hands. He cool. called so quickly that Tran must be a little concerned here. Should JC, yeah, should he have enough radar that even if it comes a 10 or a jack, he might check? Uh, you know, that that was a pretty, uh, that card might do some to bluff again, actually. JC's drawn dead. But well, that doesn't mean he can't win the pot. He can't win the pot. Check. 30, Eastgate, um, he checked on the turn there, Phil, to control the pot and make sure he could pay off a river bet. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, basically, if he would have re raised, he would have won no more chips. But by smooth calling, he won an extra 22,000, and it could have been more. The Dane, Peter Eastgate, is the current world champion and $9 million richer because of it. At 22 years old, 21, the youngest ever main event winner, breaking the record held by Phil Hellman. Yeah, there's like a big pressure for me to prove that the final table was not a fluke. But on the other hand, I'm not kind of nervous that I will go for a year without results because I know the variance in poker. And um, yeah, I already won $9 million, so I can take the variance. For this lineup, there's so many good players. It's a very interesting clash of generations. The old generation should be aware of what, what is changing in the game, because the, the young guys are kind of like the representative of the new kind of way of playing the game. I'm not necessarily saying that the correct way of playing the game, but the game has changed. Things started off so well for Yuha, and he's actually slowed down. I think he expected someone to be knocked out by now, perhaps. I expected someone to be knocked out by now. Raise to 15,000 places. Pass. 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 What do you think, JC? Is it worth 9,000 more? Okay. He called and he was right. Oh, and he has a nice flop here, too. Check. And this is this is going to be a check-calling mission for JC, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to try to extract some... Once you finally flop top pair against Durr, you have to try to extract some chips here. Check. Now, that's probably the best card in the deck for Duan. You think? Yeah. And now JC's just going to bet it and win it, because now he wants to know. 20,000. Too good, kid. Too good. No one to check, no one to fold. 
I don't know. Da it's like you're never gonna get any more action from me online. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Starting to feel again now like Dwan is Hustled. is gonna play a couple pots, he's gonna be in the thick of the action. Really, the guy who's been in the most pots, I guess, is JC Tran. Cool. Cool. Ron, you would have played this hand. Pass. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> Why are they all making fun of Roland for what he does in the small blind? I don't get what is that I can't remember. What's that from? Wouldn't have played more hands. Well, I think that I think actually Roland's been the tightest player at the table, so they might be teasing him a little bit about that too. Right, right. Seven thousand. Middle pair for Eastgate and raise to twenty-seven. Thousand. Very good decision from Tony G, huh? Quick instant raise, just like he did with three queens, but he did it with the flush draw. Boom, pot over. Oh man, stay away from the two pairs, kid. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean. it's the bunny, the bunny hands. <laughs> stay away from the over, traps. Overqualify. <laughs> You has done hasn't done much. <laughs> hasn't had the aces yet. <laughs> yeah. You waiting? I still have more chips than I started with. That's good. That's not bad. Nice. That is a nice feeling to have. Cool. I have less than nice. I started with, and I didn't start with much. But I'm still here. G has all of a sudden started limping. I think. Uh, I mean. Raise. Twenty-five thousand pesos. And I, I guess. That's what this is about, Phil, that Peter Eastgate just saying, you know, if you're going to keep limping, I'm going to start raising you. Nice. Cool. Yeah, is, you know, if yeah. Tony G wants to call, you know, 19,000 more with ace, deuce, of diamonds, you know, that puts him in a bad position a lot of times. I mean, if you're, if you're going to play it, you know, I mean, ideally you can re-raise with it and just take yourself out of harm's way. 30,000. I wonder, is he going to play Eastgate a little bit like Dwan? Show him who the G-Man is? I mean, it, look, he he's just probably supposed to fold, but he might raise it here, and that would be a great move. You can't really call with Ace-Deuce, Phil, unless you're willing to make a play after the flop, because you always miss with Ace-Deuce, right? Well, Tony's testing his instincts. He he was right. He should have bet with the Queen-6, and now I, I think that there's a big part of him saying you can raise it and win it right now, and that's what he's thinking. And so he knows he can't just call, so he has to fold or raise here. You know, I mean, it's it's an easy fold actually, but but the raise would be, you know, exceptional. You don't have a three. What can you do? You have to fold. You have <laughs> he put he yep. put Eastgate in the stew pot, but just couldn't stir it. Uh, he, you can see that Tony's just on the verge. He wants oh. to make these great plays. He oh. wanted to play the queen six. He wanted to re-raise with the ace deuce. He wanted to bet the queen six. You can see that he's that his instincts are almost there. He's just not being pushed over the edge. And maybe we're seeing Tony turn into a better player. And when you're in a lot of pressure situations, you become better and better and better. <laughs> it's two full levels, Phil. And uh, Tran and he's, I mean, they're basically where they started, but it's been a bit of up and down. I mean, you know, Tran, Tran could easily have headed down a lot further if Tony plays a queen six, Tran sitting on, you know, 330,000. Um, he also made a nice play with the 10 of hearts against Roland to pick up another 25, 30,000. So, you know, I mean, he's uh, he seems to just be in pretty good control right now. He really hasn't been lucky, but he's still moved up the chips. Lines up the goal, obviously, to get to Two million in chips. No one has gotten significantly closer to that, Phil, but it's starting to feel like it's playing in the JC Tran's hands a little bit. Well, I like the fact that JC <laughs> kind of took control a little bit. I mean, he, he, he got a little bit low on chips, and uh, and I buy, I mean, low, I mean. <laughs> Ace Queen suited here. It's kind of the best hand he's seen tonight. Yeah, I think so. Eastgate calling here, and you know, this is the same play, same position he made with the two kings last time. So 
You know, Tran has to be careful, although ace-queen's a very good hand, obviously. Well, Tran doesn't know that he had kings, so. And here's a flush draw. Check. Slip to Eastgate. Eastgate, yeah. See if Eastgate bets us, and if he does, how much? 27,000. Now, Tran can beat what Eastgate has, king high, but there's a lot of pocket pairs Peter could have here, right? Tran could easily call this. I mean, he's trying to figure out, did he have ace-queen beat before the flop or not? Because 8-8-7 didn't help much. It wouldn't really be in JC's style to raise, would it? No, but, but he made the call. I'm not surprised. So let's see what happens if, you know, if a sp there are some interesting cards. Like if a deuce came off, how would they play it? Oh, boy. Look at that card, Phil. Well, that yeah. is the most interesting card in the deck there. And uh, wow, Eastgate checked the top pair. That's interesting. Wow. It turns out Eastgate's check worked out pretty well. Yeah, he wasn't losing JC, was he? That no. pot could have gotten really big on the turn. Yeah. Right, and I think oh. that Eastgate's going to call. Yeah. I did not get the turn. I'm calling. On the turn? Yeah, yeah people with diamond draw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might even he was raise, calling yeah. Eastgate. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I might raise you all in. <laughs> JC Tran wow. said, I might raise you all in. Never in a million years, JC. Might, might. Yeah, might, yeah. might. Planet Earth might fall into the sun next year, too. Very significant pot. Peter Eastgate, he's saying he's a little upset with how he played the hand. At the end of the day, did he play it bad, Phil? I mean, should he have made a fold on the river? Should he have bet the turn? Uh, I mean, he did insta-call on the river, but I mean, he, he kind of set it up to insta-call on the river. I mean, it was, you know, it was a pretty unlucky river card for him, really. Yeah, I'm, still, I'm still happy. Pass. <laughs> Pass. Pass. A couple people, Dwan, Pass. now Yuha, um, a little bit in waiting mode. What are they waiting for? Are they waiting for Roland to get some chips involved? Is that what they're waiting for? And let's see what Roland does here. Wow, Jack Deuce. I wonder if Roland can make a play here, Phil. Is there any reason for it? I think Roland's just going to lay it down. I mean, he, he's at a spot now where if he makes a play, he's he's really putting himself in bad shape for the tournament. Well, he's giving himself a chance. He's trying to read Tony G. Tony G is looking right at him. Cool. And Rowan has decided that Tony G has king high or queen high or something and that he's going to try to outplay him. So that's a, that's a really good strategy now. Let's just see if Rowan doesn't get unlucky and a, no king or eight comes. Check. Does he need to bet here? Or should he well, wait? his plan wasn't to bet. Now he picked up a straight draw, so. 12,000. And Roland made this play purely to outplay Tony G. He called on the flop with no pair, no draw, just saying, I think Tony has queen or king high, and I'm going to make him lay it down. Tony's giving him a hard look, Phil. Yeah, well, Tony's been Tony's had these looks, and he's been right every time he's really wondered, but he hasn't followed through. Instead, yeah. he just lays it down, lays it down, and and doesn't bet, you know? And so Tony G needs to step up his game if he wants to win this. He's going to have to... He's going to have to read someone, trust the read, make the bet, and go with it. Was it the first pot Roland's won on this final table? First one I can remember him winning. No, he won a couple pots, but I mean, he hasn't won many. He re-raised once with Jack. Right, so. right. But now Roland's playing some poker, so... And really, there wasn't much Tony G could do there. I mean, Roland just outplayed him. Yeah, and that little teeny pot that Roland just won uh, may have, you know, given him 10 or 11 more hands, right. Phil, to, 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 to stay in this match. Sure did. And uh, you can see the queen fours, the queen fives suited, uh, falling right into Tom Dwan's range tonight. He's, I don't know if he's, 
trying to get into pots with JC? Well, he's making a lot of men raises when JC has the blind, forcing JC to call. Check. I'd be surprised if Tom Dwan bets this. Why is that? Well, he has a free straight draw. He doesn't want to get raised. He does take a lot of time with his decisions, and yeah. this is—is is this trying to get a read off JC or exactly? Is this, yeah, JC knows he's thinking about batting. He's watching JC. If he thinks JC is weak, he's going to bet. Thirty-four thousand. And he was right. So, basically, forcing JC to just lay it down. He does look like. When Tom Don Dwan's thinking there, you think he's going through all the options. I could bet 16,000, and then if he raises me, I could bet 18,000. <laughs> you know, it's like he's going through every single permutation. Quicker, quick, quick, though. There's a lot of permutations to go through. Absolutely. I mean, this guy plays eight screens at once in yeah. some of the biggest poker games in the world. You know, and takes just ginormous swings within an hour. <laughs> he might be up 70,000 on one screen, down 300,000 on another, up 400,000 on another. All on a laptop, too. Pass. I bet he's, he's got a couple monitors at home, though. Oh, I bet he has. Yeah. <laughs> Pass. If your business is online poker and you're really successful one. and you have some Pass. some of the biggest screens money can <laughs> buy <laughs> at your house, right? <laughs> Gotta no use that extra ten thousand. Holding money. Is Eastgate looking just a little <laughs> frustrated there, or is it just is he just it's a little bit withdrawing into the shell, hunkering down perhaps? That could probably be the best thing. Tran thinks yeah. it's a good time yeah, right now to, to sort of make a bet that... <laughs> no, I mean, I think Tran far. just thinks Queen High is probably good. I'm against yeah. the blind hand. I'll fire. Fair enough. So consistent. I just... You're just thinking back through it. He really hasn't made any big hands tonight. And yet okay. has okay. managed to keep his stack okay. growing. Now, that was a pretty big pot that he won with the ace, queen of diamonds. I mean... Mm -hmm. 24,000 total. So Eastgate with a, a weak raise here, and uh, he has Tom Dwan, who's good at reading him, and Yuha, who, who you know, just has math and might re-raise him. Pass. But he's played so tight, he's forcing their hands a little bit. And Dwan he looked over there, and it does feel yeah. like, I mean, what it feels like looking here is that Eastgate is getting a little frustrated and is trying to pick up chips in a different way. And Dwan, it looked like he was ready to seize on that and then thought it was too expensive to try and try and make that trigger play. Pass. You'll pull the trigger soon, Rowan. Really. This is obviously a very... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Wow. 25,000 total. This could be trouble for somebody. We raised to 55,000. Wow. We know who it's trouble for. Wow. And this and see, this is the problem. Eastgate has, doesn't have as much real-world experience here. And uh, and because of that, his, his reading abilities haven't been fully developed. and. There's something That's about awesome. when someone has exactly two aces, the best possible you land, you can always best. see it in their eyes. And he didn't see it. Now let's see if Tran can... Cool. Wow, smooth call. Wow, that's beautiful play there. And now, I mean, should the alarm bells go off in Eastgate's head? Are, what, what kind of hands, what range does Tran have to the call alarm, a re-raise? When someone raises with two aces and you're sitting behind them and you're a great player, you can usually see it's two aces. So, oh, my God. Eastgate could be out first. He Eastgate, could be out first. Well, Eastgate is, will be worried about a king-queen, that's for sure. You know, so let's see what he does here. Bye-bye, Peter. Right. All right, I hope you need to follow the set. Oops, JC got aces to call. And yeah, DeWolf right. knew it. DeWolf yep. said JC's got aces. Yeah, well, that's the great players can see it. Well, it's, it's going in anyway, so. Unless he folds, it's got a complete...
It's all in, so I mean, Eastgate busted himself by, by, by not reading Tran well. I had five. I'm up against Tay 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 Tay's running. JC, look, versus uh, Peter yeah. Eastgate, look. Good game, a five JC. would be a good card. I had a five. Good, good game, game, me? Good game. I haven't covered, so. That's a good card for me. That That's is a, a good really card. good card. It's that is a great card. Now he only has two wins in the deck. I love what you do. 20 to 1 favorite. He just has to avoid a king, and he has a massive chip lead. Oh. Okay. Just in case there was any doubt, there's the ace. And so I think Good Eastgate kind of unnecessarily busted himself early there. Um, you know, re-raising with king nine of spades just didn't need to do that. It was too early in the game to take a big chance like that, especially against the guy who's been reading him perfectly and, and played him perfectly, to be honest, on this hand. Tran was Eastgate's bogeyman throughout this whole Premier League, Phil. And... Oh, wow. I mean, look at this. Eight, nine, three. That's a lot of chips. Wow, he has like 50% of the chips almost. That's a scary amount of chips. He's playing great. Play pretty much the best I can do, and uh, it just happened to not to be my day. How'd you get aces? It's yeah, it is. Run, kid. Yeah. Mm. It's hard to get them for all the tips in, too, when you have aces. But... You know what? Yeah. Then you got to get in your top, top pair and put it on. That's how I run. Yeah. Okay. Right, Phil? <laughs> Phil, right? Just like the aces against your ace, King Phil. You saw that trophy on the bar there. JC knows it's there. Throughout this tournament, he's been looking at that trophy. He's been asking if it'll fit in his carry-on luggage on the plane. I mean, he's, uh, he wants it. And it's a nice looking trophy. It will fit in the carry-on luggage. I brought trophies <laughs> home from Europe before. I made it fit, so yes. <laughs> and there'd be a certain sort of logic I think if you had a different table lineup, okay, Phil, okay, uh, where people are just going to say, all right, now it's time to hunker yeah. down and play for second. But these aren't those guys. Yeah, and look at this hand. Dwan re-raised me with Jack-6 and Ahidi re-raised somebody else with Jack-6. I think he likes to treat Jack-6 like ace-king. Now let's see what JC does here. It trans limped here with the ace-8, which is, which is weird starting out. Yeah, but if he's reading, if he's really on the top of his game and trying to play every hand, look at this. He went right with him. And now, and now Dwan knows he's in trouble, but he doesn't know how bad a shape he's in. And the great thing about Tran smooth calls, he just smooth called with aces, so. Dwan has about, oh, he has about 180 back. Can he win this pot with JC having bottom pair? I guess there's, there's, there's three options here, Phil. Check, bet small, or bet big. If Dwan bets small, he's getting called. If Dwan bets medium, he's getting called. He checked. And and that check by Dwan obviously didn't. It didn't uh, mean that he can't try and win this pot on a later street. Phil is now the time. Well, it's a very interesting hand here. I mean, Dwan caught a great card here to give him an open-ended straight draw. Um, you know, isn't the problem that if he makes sort of a bet and gets raised, then he's, he's you know, he's not going to have a chance to try and hit the straight? I mean, that's a... Duan's oh. thinking about potentially moving all in. That's certainly one of his options here. And uh, if he bets forty or 50000 he could easily get called. 7000 JC can still beat ace-jack. He can still beat ace-queen. Wow, just laid it down. This is only a couple hands I can beat. That's this right. Three and four deuce. I had about jack six. <laughs> Off suit. I had four deuce beat. Do you have a queen high beat? That's a tough hand to beat. <laughs> this is the guy the poker world's all talking about. Tom Juan, the most feared online player of the moment. 24-year-old Durr is earning a reputation that could see him become one of the game's legends. With swings of millions, he's the ultimate high stakes player. I think I play much different than most other online players. I think um, I think a lot of online players do things wrong when they come to play live or sometimes even when they start playing higher stakes online. There hasn't been a game of Nolan Hold'em in a while where I didn't think I was the best player at the table. Basically any format where it's Nolan Hold'em, I'm confident that I'd be a big favorite on this field. It means something for like a businessman. Maybe you'll get invited back. Quite a businessman. <laughs> Quite a businessman. Maybe they let us back. They let the B graders back. <laughs> they need some crap. They need a couple of wins. <laughs> Stooges. <laughs> See all those movies in the Stooges? 
Roland's having a little look over at you, huh? I'm close to moving in. So and look at this. Day. Roland with pocket oh, king. Oh, wow. wow. He did look interested, didn't he? And he is going to get called. Yuha, I believe, is going to call 100,000 more. It's just not in Yuha's nature to hold this hand. So Roland's thinking about how he wants to play it. But Phil, and you, you know just what? said Roland should be slow playing now. Yeah. Yeah, but now that I can see the cards, I think he should move in. Rolling. No, seriously, I, 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 a slow play would have been just <laughs> fine there. And Came to the party. The safety's off. And where is a pair of eights as far as what Roland's range is here now? I mean, uh, J I think you're going to see JC fold this hand, and I don't think it's going to take him that long. What would Phil Helmet do? Find a friend. I know what JC would do. Good fold, <laughs> JC. Pass. I know what Yuha does. Do you? I know. <laughs> Are you strong, Roland? What do you have? Always strong, buddy. Always strong? You can always bet on you, huh? don't worry. <laughs> always strong. How strong? No, I think Yuha really could get away what? from this. I mean, Roland hasn't moved in the whole time. And, and Yuha told me that he could tempting? see in his face when Roland is really strong. And I can, too. I mean, I made some laydowns against Roland as well. Don't look at me, huh? <laughs> and Yuha's being very smart here. He's oh. taking his time. Oh, but he made a mistake. How did I pick kings? Did I say kings? Did I say kings? Yes. How, did you have man. Eight? Eight. Eight. How good is that? I said kings. I said kings first. I need to suck out. Maybe. I'm pretty sure that was the only I've dealt out so far. That's OK, buddy. I gotta hold it against you. But this is the spot wow. DeWolf needed wow. from the start. Yeah, and he got quite a bit of action with the ace queen there. I, I don't think Yuha had to play the hand. Um, bigger than mine. Roland's been playing super tight. The last second I felt it wasn't okay. I felt it right away. Oh my god. And there's an ace. Wow, that's just like not even right. Wow. Do you have a king? That's kind of kind of hard for Tony. Do you have a king? That's the needle. The bear is poking yeah, back out of the one. cage, and <laughs> wow. Wow, yeah, that's, that's, that's so almost not even it. fair. I mean, you, like you, lose. you know, I mean, Roland, he, he executed the patient strategy yeah, perfectly yeah, yeah, and yeah, got it all yeah, with yeah, kings yeah. against ace queen. Any black and king you lose. Any black king he's lose. still going home unless a king one, comes. One, 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 one. Every black. time he's been in a position game, game, to actually get in the game, the he's been knocked back yes. and had to just claw his way. And this one knocked him out. Fish Bash four-handed, the smoke's clearing. Uh, I thought that Yuha had a good chance to finish in the top three. He's just pretty steady. I don't know if he deserves to have 470,000 in chips. I think he probably deserves to have about 200,000 in chips, but the ace queen beat the kings. I've had a great time, you know, and I can't wait to come back next year and uh, another final, but again, not, not the, the elusive prize. But, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lose sleep over how I played or, or what happened. Uh, I've had a great time. Two seats open on table number one, good. the main yeah, table, the final table. And of all the matchups we've seen in this Premier League, this feels a little unfamiliar. I don't think any of these players have played that much with each other. Yeah, I, I think it is, does feel very unfamiliar to me, actually. I'm, I mean, I'm trying to remember how many run-ins Dwan and Tran have had them once or twice, perhaps, and Michael. you know, you kind of like, yeah, we have played like a, a 12 Check. seasons yeah. and all these heads-up matches, right. and we end up with guys that I don't remember playing a lot against each other. I mean, Yuha played the most with like you, you know. Yeah. Tony played the most, I think, with Roland, and um, Tony funny. played five times with me, actually. Yeah, Check. that's right. That's right. Check. Thirty thousand. Good bet, Tony G. Pass. 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 You just, you know that Tom is one of those guys on the, the one there. He looks, he considers his cards last, Phil. I mean, that's like the last thing that ever occurs to him is the two cards he has, you know? It's like an afterthought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like that. <laughs> I mean, you know. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, he's trying to, as I say, I have a... a, a Kind of a nice. Let's oh, I don't know. I have a few lines. I can dodge bullets, baby, and, and my like new no one this year is 
Play the player! Don't, don't play the cards, play the player! <laughs> so, you know, I said that, and, and now well, we have a lot know. of t-shirts in America that say, play like the player, games. and, you yeah. know, and that's and that's what Dwan does no, better than you. anyone else there. Actually, JC, you can't really say he plays the player better than JC. It's just, oh, I just love to have fun. I, I just something. feel like JC's game is so complete. I mean, he is the all-rounder. I don't mind it. I don't he love does, it. I don't mind every it. part of his game is so good, it. Phil. It's like... What is the strongest part of his game? I don't know. I mean, Dirty everything, to have right? A pop here. He's very consistent. He hasn't got it, but he thinks it's an opportunity. And let's see, Dwan already raised him with a jack it's and a an six. It's an opportunity to explore. <laughs> ah, you haven't got the hat. You know I'm on top of that. Pass. I might take that leverage all the way to the bank. It would have been very friends. interesting if Dwan would have raised. Two friends. Check. Check. And it's Mr. G with the ace. Check. Yeah. Keep it friendly. Check. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to be the sucker bidding it. <laughs> 15,000. King 10 is good. Pass. Can, I mean, this 15,000. I think there is. Dwan has to call here, really. Call. My check. Check, Doc. I just don't know what he has. <laughs> <laughs> He's got me all confused. <laughs> I just check it. Most likely fold, unless I hit. Oh, that, that is a bad card. Queen. Nice. Nice check. Ah, come on, you can bet that one. That's a scary card. That's a... Hard and commitment card. Put me on Tony, line. we've seen this act before here from Tony G. I'm no, learning these dark checks from Phil, but he always checks the flop. I, I don't know why, but the bust of face. <laughs> did you see one check I did against him in the cash game? Flopped the nuts and I checked dark twice, and then in the river I hit the nuts. You were there. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. I cleaned them out. Yeah. You know, in the cash game, cleaned them out. Eight, had eight Tony has gotten the really happy since Roland got friend. knocked out. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, there's no bad <laughs> blood between them, but yeah, like, what, what's what is it? What, what's what's happened small, here? Small, he is uh, really happy five. now. Yeah. And he couldn't believe it. It was all luck. I well. fold. Pass. Like, the donkey fixed him up. Pass. It could be. It could be the vodka behind the bar as well. Could be. Is Tony drinking? Let's build a friendship. Wow. Am I getting obnoxious? Tell me if I'm getting out of line. You good? It's time. It's the right time for it. I feel like I should drink a little more though. Fifteen thousand. In case the straight hits on I should, I should too. <laughs> Price. We take five thousand thousand. I'm getting out of line here. Pass. Actually, there's nothing wrong with Tony G's bet. It came ace king four. He had queen high in the blinds. It turns out that JC no had aces up, there, though. I <laughs> <laughs> had a good hand. Yeah, I should have thought about that. Just like three extra stack. Oh, I'm not that much, it would have been sick if I moved in. Yeah, it would have been pretty sick. <laughs> Excuse me for getting obnoxious, but. You're, you're not. Good, you're good. You're not Pass. at all. You're not. On a scale of 1 to 10, you're probably still at a 2. Right, so 30 pounds. That's Yeah, that, that, you just went up to like 3.5 right there. But he's not blind. Really obnoxious. Pass. I got. Two small cards. You yeah. can choose one. Nice right. right there. The interesting thing about Tony I'm G honest. is he might, he may decide <laughs> that he needs to make a stand probably with a medium or a small <laughs> pair, whereas the other guys <laughs> probably won't decide that. You know, you know For sure, Tran like is not going to make a stand with a medium or a small pair, and neither is Helpy. But Tony especially might, <laughs> especially against it. Tom Dwan. So if, if he raced with sixes and Dwan had, you know, ace jack and just moved all in, I, I think Tony G might just call. I know exactly what you mean, Phil. <laughs> yeah. It, he's, and he's sending out that message to the table, isn't he? That listen, if you show me a race, I don't care if the chips are.
are going in that's first good. and that's second. Yeah. I'm there, buddy. You of know? course. Well, I Tony, Tony's just, best shot is to play I'm racism. I mean, he's playing against. I wish I just. He's playing okay. against. Uh, I wish I was you doing right who's now. mathematically that's perfect. Old. He's playing that's against J.C. Tran, who reads <laughs> well. And we're going to give Dirk credit for reading people really well too. So he's a little bit outclassed here. I'm gonna fold. I mean, Tony might might tell people to get on their bike before so the flops even dealt. Out. That's how confident he might be activities. about winning races right now. One of the now. players like a feel in the world, whole world. Like wow, look something. at this. What would you say? It would be great timing, wouldn't it? You yes, something. you'd have to say, you wow, if Yuha could re race here. I mean, you're yeah, looking over there at Yuha, at the rest of this table, Phil, and you're thinking, he hasn't played a hand. Probably a bad thing for both the of only us. hand we saw him play yeah, was the ace queen. It's good. I like Race. It's not many. And I mean, is there anything here for Tran? Is no, there anything I mean, at all? I mean, you know. Tran basically just has to fold his hand. If he does anything else, you just have to say, wow, that was so far over the rim. Pass. I thought more chips were going in there for a second. Tran might suspect Eight. that Yuha What's made a play, but Yuha's played so patiently, <laughs> so mathematically Ping. sound, that, that when, strong. you know, that when he does finally First, make uh, a play, yeah. it's yeah. really hard to play against. And he had the best hand, too. Pass. That's still really strong. Pass. I have the knife here. You, I think you want to have a walk. <laughs> I'll walk. You want to have a walk, oh. baby. You don't want to put money in. You want me to raise your blind? Raise me a blind a bit. Okay, I'll look at one card. It's fair. Okay. Which okay. one do you want me to look at? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. All right, I'll raise you 20,000. That's pretty strong. Now you can move all in. Then, I, then you can check the next card. We can both see it together. That's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's sick. Okay. Choose one card. It's the small one. Don't worry. Was that the one you looked at? <laughs> that was the small one. <laughs> oh, you looked at both of them afterwards? <laughs> I didn't look at them. I mean, I saw one. I saw but gee, just <laughs> same week. Roll your tape back at you home. You saw them. And it, it just, so when he started talking to you, it just seemed like it was really weak. You could see it in his face. That's building a friendship too, huh? Yeah, I'm like, 4.2. <laughs> <laughs> just let me know when I'm out of line. <laughs> he wants to know when he gets to 10. <laughs> yeah. I just think, I mean, Phil, like that staying really, really obviously, if you are a very good reader, you, you can maybe ha get a read off Tony that he's weak. But oh. this is also, Ten he is one of the Five people minutes. who talking is good for him. I, I mean, think probably. But I don't know. Okay. Just the way he talked back then, I, I think the viewers at home should rewind it and see it. Just, it's interesting. Cool. You just, you just look, yeah. and there's something there where you're like, all right, I know he has nothing. He's, he's, in, he's in everybody's face he's right now. The one card you chose, that's pretty fair. Wow, it's a nice flop for Guan. Check. He has JC Tran trapped here with top Check. pair. Check. He's got him overcoated. Yep. And a diamond. And if Duan does bet here, well, I mean, from what we you know about JC, he's just going to call. Through. Well, this is a difficult position for Tran to be in. Now, he probably should be able to get away from this cheap, but if he doesn't, then... Twenty-three. Leave the bit twenty-three. And that was a great card for JC okay. because now he doesn't have to lose another chip. What are the chances that JC had an ace in the blind and the ace of diamonds? I mean, it's pretty remote. Right. He's thinking of that. I mean, that would be a big bet there. He's got about, oh, I don't know, 60 in his right hand, and in front of his cards, he's got about 50. I mean, what is he, what is he trying to get called by? Well, he's trying to get called by, uh, by the Jack of Diamonds. 16, 17. And Tran is thinking, you know, it's Durr, and and my queens could easily be good here. There's two scenarios. One, Tran is going to call and fold in the river when Duan moves in. Or two, Tran is just going to fold right now. I don't even have a diamond.
I feel your heart. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You're not gonna mess with the G. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Clap your hands, baby. One time. I'm not happy. <laughs> Starting to be pretty angry. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Am I getting out of line? Give me a warning. 